As the work days get shorter and winter's around the corner, it's going to come a time when we got to prepare our machine for long-term storage. Follow these quick, simple, easy steps, and your machine will be ready to dig come spring. The tools we're going to need for long-term storage is a grease gun, some anti-rust to apply to the cylinders, and a polypropylene tarp to cover the machine. Let's go ahead and get started. Once we're ready to put our machine into long-term storage, first thing we want to do is we want to clean the machine, make sure there's no dirt on it. Anytime you need to store your machine for long periods of time, there's a few things you always want to remember. First thing is you want to store the machine indoors. If you have no way to store it indoors and you have to store it outside, you want to make sure you park it on a nice flat level area. Also, outdoors, you want to ensure that you cover the machine with a polypropylene tarp or some oil paper. What we want to do now is go ahead and grease all the grease points on the machine. Follow me. Make sure you go ahead and glove up for your safety. Once you do the greasing, we're only going to do the one side for this video, but when you do it, make sure you do both sides. The reason you want to make sure you put grease into these pins and these bushings is when it sits for a long period of time over the winter, these pins have a tendency to freeze up. A little bit of grease will go a long ways. When stored near the sea or in a place exposed to sea breezes, the machine easily becomes rusty. Carefully apply an anti-rust to all exposed parts of the piston rods and cover the machine with a polyethylene sheet or oil paper. Some anti-rust solvents damages rubber materials. Be sure to use the recommended anti-rust or its equivalent. Fill the battery with distilled water up to the upper level mark. After the battery has fully recharged, disconnect the negative terminal and cover the battery or remove the battery from the machine to store it. Add an antifreeze to the cooling water if the air temperature can fall below 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Because a Yanmar Genuine Long Life Coolant is added to the cooling water, you need not change it until the temperature falls down to negative 31 degrees Fahrenheit. So anytime you put your machine into long-term storage, you want to either drain your fuel tank or top it off. We're going to go ahead and top ours off, so let's go ahead and do that. All right, so one of the last things we want to do is we want to lock all of our pedals and controls into place. So we'll go ahead and jump in the cab. First thing we want to do, Close the pad down for our boom swing lever. Take any travel levers if you've got the pedals pushed back, go ahead and lift those back up. And then we wanna make sure that our lock lever is in the up position. Now we're ready to tarp it. Take my tarp, I'm going to go ahead and lay it out beside the machine. All right, so once you start tarping up the machine, it is recommended that you have somebody give you a hand, otherwise it could take you a while. There you have it guys, quick, simple, easy steps, but some that are very important if you want to keep your machine ready to dig come spring. Until next time, I'll see you at the Yanmar Academy.